ready. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video that I can't stop smiling. It's nothing short of a miracle that I don't have purple lipstick on my teeth. My nose itches. I have like a nervous habit of like in my mind telling myself that the inside my nose itches when it really doesn't. So if you notice in every video I ever do, I always say my nose itches. It's a nervous habit in my head. It's gonna happen bad in this video because I get to expose to you my eyeshadow palette. <laughs> There's just not words to explain how I feel because I feel so many emotions right now. I can't believe that we're here already, although I've been working on this for so freaking long. I created my own makeup brand and I started this a long time ago. Me and my husband created it and the brand is called Laura Lee Los Angeles and I've kept it a secret for so long and my closest friends obviously knew I was working on it but I made it for you guys and this is the moment that I get to tell the people that I made this product for or in this line for what I made. It's really nerve-wracking. I'm real nervous. I'm just nervous about everything. I'm one human being and me and Ty created this by ourselves. We don't have investors or head honchos or bosses that told us what to do. I'm so proud of us for what we've accomplished. We saved our money and put everything aside. Sorry I'm getting like whimpery voice. I knew this was gonna happen in this video. Laura, you're gonna dry it up. It's a happy moment. Ah! And I remember back when I lived in Alabama, so in love with makeup. And of course people say, would you ever start your own makeup line? Just because I was so in love with it. And I always felt that that dream, here we go with the voice thing. I always, always, always felt that that dream was way too big. So I was always like, mm, Maybe I'll be a makeup artist, but then I like start my own makeup line because that's just too big of a dream. And I'm almost mad at myself for thinking that way because no dream's too big. If you work hard enough, no dream is truly too big. So with this video, I want to leave you with that message. And we've been doing a huge countdown on Snapchat and all over social media for the reveal. And the reveal is already on my Instagram. If you saw that, you got a little spoiler. But let me sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump in to this video. Subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead and kick this thing off. Woo! Here she is. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. I can't get it together. Here she is. No, this is it. This is the palette. This is what has actually been consuming my life for almost two years now. What's interesting is I actually started creating this whenever I wasn't ready to create a makeup line. I had like all these boards and everything of like what I wanted this to be. And so I actually started creating the palette and then whenever it came time for me to like get the ball rolling and to start talking to labs and making dreams come true, I was really prepared. And I also feel like collaborating with other brands. I had two collaborations. I did my palette with Violet Voss, which made me fall in love with creating eyeshadow palette so thank you Violet Boss for the opportunity it truly just made me fall in love with the creation of eyeshadow palettes and really getting that experience behind my back really helped me create my own makeup line as well as working with MAC and truly creating my own lipstick I have a lot more stuff coming with my brand this is just the first product mind you we are working on spring next year we're working on so much stuff guys I feel like if I didn't get to do those collabs I don't know if this palette would be as good as it is because it's really freaking good I decided to come out with the eyeshadow palette because of truly creating the eyeshadow palette with Violet Boss like I I fell in love with the creation of eyeshadow palettes and I love eyeshadows they're probably my favorite piece of makeup I do this tutorial too if you guys want to know how I get this look keep watching the video so this is the palette and I wanted it to come out with a bang I want it glitz glimmer and let me tell you whenever you get this palette the first thing you need to do is turn your flash on your phone lay it down and just hit it with a flash it looks unreal my lights are soft that I film with so it's not doing it the justice that I wish it would but you can tell like the whole bit is glitter I love it so let's go ahead and open her up so let's open her up this is her she is a tin panned palette she has four shimmers she has five mattes and then this one right here out the other is a semi matte color so it's a matte but it has like the slightest bit of shimmer in it so it's a little bit of a hybrid eyeshadow color and that's why I say there are five mattes and four shimmers and then one like this semi matte really cool color now the colors on the bottom may look a little bit similar to each other but I will swatch and show you just how different they are as well as some are shimmer and some are matte I picked every color and created every color in this palette anyways this is my logo yeah we created my logo as a lot of you have already seen it because my merch that came out falls under the same logo the palette will be for sale on laurelylosangeles.com same website where you bought the merch that is my website I own it it launches October 13th Friday the 13th oh my god hats and Friday the 13th that just couldn't work out better I will have the time that's gonna launch in the description box down below but I will be posting all the information about this palette on the Instagram page at laurelylosangeles that's the Instagram page and this is 
the profile picture is my logo. I will just be honest and tell you guys, like the creation of this palette wasn't perfect. It wasn't a dream. It was really hard. It was a lot of tears and really and getting all sappy. It was a lot of stress. It put a lot of stress on me and Ty. It was hard. It was really, really hard. It's hard to come out with a makeup line. There's so many ins and outs that you don't know about. And I had to switch labs. I had to go through hoops to get the perfect formula, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. I was persistent. I'm sure everybody in this industry who works in creating makeup is annoyed with me because I'm like, no, it's gotta be the best. If people that love me, that follow me, that choose to spend their money on something I created, we will not disappoint. It will be the absolute best. And that is what I truly believe in and that is what I create. So let's get into the shadows and the formulas and talk a little bit about the eyeshadows and why I created each color. When you open the palette, you're gonna get a little flimsy piece of plastic that is to protect the eyeshadows from the mirror. I always took these for granted and threw them in the trash immediately and they got on my nerves when they were in palettes. And now if you're ordering an F load of palettes for everybody to have one, these end up costing a lot of money. And these are special and I also picked out really nice fancy thick ones so that way a subscriber actually gave me a tip you know if you're mixing foundations and stuff you can mix it on this card you don't have to toss it because it's very nice every detail counted let me tell you a little bit about my shadow formula so you are more aware and knowledgeable on it my shadow formula is one of the easiest shadow formulas to blend that is one of the things that was most important to me and i wanted people to be able to use this palette that are beginners and the pros are going to have absolutely no problem with this palette but it's the beginners i wanted the everyday woman to be able to buy this palette and have absolutely no trouble blending it. I say women and I mean everyone. I mean girls and guys. Obviously, you know I love my men in makeup. And I didn't want it to scare people. I didn't want people to have a hard time using the colors. I wanted it to be the easiest, most blendable formula, but at the same time, I wanted it to have maximum pigmentation. So you're getting both. I'm gonna show you in the tutorial just how great these colors are, the payoff and the blendability. It's just unreal. All right, so we'll talk about the shadow names as well. I made this palette to resemble me, but also along my journey in YouTube. She's being teary-eyed again. She's going to stop. Just give me a minute. So the shadow names came from the comment section. They came from people who related to me and not being normal, feeling a little bit like an oddball, like a weirdo, like a scatterbrain, just feeling a little different from everyone else. They're a little off. And that is okay. And that's what makes us all so, so special. And it took me a really long time, long time to be authentically myself. Even when I started my channel, I don't feel like I was fully authentically myself. And I finally had to cast aside all the comments that people tell me I'm annoying. I'm too much. I have too much ADD. I'm all over the place. They can't stand my channel. I had to fight through and push aside those comments and just be authentically me and realize that people who love me for me are gonna stay and the rest can leave because baby, I ain't changing for anyone. And I feel like I really made the shadow names for those people and you'll get them as I tell you. Also, gimmicky is subscribe is not a shadow name because this palette, that wasn't even a thing on my channel whenever this was in creation. So that couldn't have happened. But we have those names for the future, right guys? So let's go ahead and start. I have swatches and all ready for you guys. First, we have Okie Dokie. Now this is a cream bone shade. I have to have this shade always to start my makeup look and I really wanted to create a palette where you can create many full complete looks without having to reach for another palette. So this color you can use to create a cut crease. You can use to blend out your or to soften up your eyeshadow primer. You can use it for your brow bone. You can use this color for so many uses. Next we have Scatterbrain which is a very very shimmery golden color. It's what I have on my eyelid right now. Ooh it's so pretty. This is a very soft gold color. It's very easy to wear. It doesn't have that big of a punch. It's almost just like a soft shimmery color. This is also a beautiful bridal color. It's a beautiful prom color. It's a beautiful everyday color as well because it's very subtle but it's very shimmery and has like that pop. It really makes your eyes just go. I named it Scatterbrain because I am literally a scatterbrain. I'm all over the place and I've come to realize I don't want to fix that. That's who I am. And I want to say that way. I want to be a scatterbrain. If that's who I'm meant to be, then that's who I'm going to be. Next, we have Bomb Diggity. This color is Bomb Diggity because this is one of the best colors to me for a transition shade. It's the mustardy brown, yellowy brown undertone color. I love it. I think it looks beautiful on all skin tones. It's just not the normal, typical transition shade that we have in all 50,000 palettes. It is something different, and you can also blend it out on the upper area up here outside of the transition and really get that yellowy, cool color that's not just plain brown. So you can use it in a couple different ways. Next, we have Cray Cray. Again, describing who I am. I am Cray Cray. Girl, she cry. <laughs> Cray Cray is a caramely 
warm, roasty, toasty, autumn brown color. If you go in really light hand it with Cray Cray, it stays this soft orangey color. If you start to punch it in and really pat it on and build it up on the eye, it can get really deep. So you can get a really nice deeper brown color with Cray Cray. Next we have Redonculus. <sighs> Love that name. Redonculus is our bronzy brown, but I wanted it not to be too deep bronzy brown because I really want it to pop. I wanted it to show up and just be like, I'm flossy, I'm here, I see you. I love the glitz, I love the glamour. So Redonculus is also extremely pigmented. Use with a light hand. You can also apply these with a synthetic flat brush or you can use it with your finger. It is an amazing shimmer. Next is Quirky. I have been called Quirky my whole entire life. I've also been called Kooky, which is the next shade. So we have Quirky. I love the color Shimmery Purple. I love shimmery purples and that's exactly what this is. It's not a scary shimmery purple though. It's a very, very, very wearable shimmery purple. It is beautiful with every eye color as well because it's not a neon purple. It's not too vibrant. It won't scare you to apply it. It's very subtle and a little bit of a deeper purple color, but yet still has that shimmery pop to it. Next we have Kooky. So Kooky is a color I wanted in this palette, but I had to tweak Kooky a lot because I wanted Kooky again to be very wearable. I know not everybody likes to put bright red cranberries on their eyes, so I added a lot of a deeper brown shade to Kooky. So it's very wearable and it comes off soft. It's not like intense red. It is so easy to work with. It's one of my favorite colors. I love to blow it out everywhere and go crazy with it, but you can just put a little on the inner corner on the lower lash line and it has that brown undertone so it still looks a little more natural than like a crazy bright cranberry. Next we have In One Ear. This is the most insane color in the palette. If you swatch it, go ahead and don't don't do it some justice. Don't go this way. Just take it all the way up the arm like I like to do with it because I like this color to have the justice that it deserves. It is insanely pigmented. Like it will blow you away. And in one ear goes great with Kooky. You can wear them together. You can wear all these colors together. I'm going to do multiple tutorials and show you guys how to wear them. And if you put this color on, it is a little bit of a lighter cranberry color, but if you add layers of it and build it up, it becomes a little bit of a darker, more subtle cranberry color. So next we have this interesting shade called Out the Other. By the way, I don't know if you guys got that one in the ear, in one ear, out the other. Get it? They go together. How cute. So in one ear right here. So this color looks a little bit uh, similar to Quirky, but I swatched them right next to each other so you can really see what a big difference they truly are. In one ear is a semi-matte. So it's not fully matte. It has a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of glimmer to it, but it's not a full shimmer either. It's almost a satin with like a little bit of matte to it and a little bit of sparkle. So it's like this hybrid color with all kinds of things going on. Very pigmented. Definitely if you tap your blending brush in it, please, please, please go lightly on this color. It is a purpley color, but it has a big time brown under tone with it. So honestly, once you really, really, really blend this all over your eye, you would have more of a brown eyeshadow with a slight purple undertone to it. And you'll really see that whenever you start working with this color. Lastly, we have Oddball. Oh my God, how can you create a palette without a beautiful matte black? <laughs> I'm crazy. I love Oddball. I use Oddball every single day to cover my gray roots. Okay, I have Oddball in one of my older used palettes and it almost hit pan on it because I was using it so much every day. It is an extremely, let me tell you something about Oddball. Let me explain Oddball to you. I know you just see a black eyeshadow, but I know things because I created it. It's very pigmented, but it doesn't have a lot of kickback. So that way it's easier to use. It's not gonna explode everywhere. You're not gonna have a matte black explosion. Matte blacks are hard. You either have them where no, you get no payoff with them or you have it where when you tap your brush in it, you literally have so much black on your brush, it just explodes all over your eye and they're really hard to work with. So this one, if you tap a little bit on your brush, you're good to go. It's not gonna explode all over your eye. You just get a little bit of color. You can blend it and then you can really build it up with this color. That is what I created with Oddball. The color name is Oddball because well, She's an oddball and uh, I'm proud of it. So it also has a little bit of sparkle in it, as you can see, like very faint. It truly, if you can see, I have oddball on. It really doesn't show up on the eye. It's just really beautiful in the palette. So don't let the sparkle scare you. It's awesome. And that is the colors of the palette. Oh my gosh, I just explained everything. So let's talk a little bit about the packaging. We have the silver glitter. And if you look at the top, it has the little kitten running across. That is just a little minute detail that I thought was really special to add in. It says cat's pajama right there. And as you can see, the beautiful rose flower 
flowers all around the palette. We have the die cut mirror, which I thought was a beautiful detail. The inside is definitely, if you can see this palette is, it's not all over the place, but it definitely is its own palette. It's glitter and it's my logo and it's cats and it's flowers. It's all that I am put into a palette and I'm all over the place as a person. I know some of you may feel that way too. You may feel like you're trying to do 100 things at once or your brain runs 90 miles an hour or that you're all over the place and that's just who you are. And that is kind of what I wanted to represent with a palette. And I think overall it came out so unreal and so beautiful. Now I just want to show you how this is not private label branding. So first we have, I wanted to do a glitter palette. And so I got multiple, multiple, multiple samples of glitter together and to create the palette that I wanted. I also got samples of glitter put on the palette. This one's really scratchy and it feels so rough. I hate it. The palette that we have is very slick, but has that extra pop. So then I got a glitter that was smooth, but it was such a dull glitter. I was like, if you don't get this the hell up out of here right now. We do not deal with dull glitters. No, it's just not a part of the Laura Lee Los Angeles family, okay? So once we got the glitter down, me and Ty actually put on the palette how we wanted the palette to be, and we got the glitter down. So we are like, yes, 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 we finally, finally, finally found the right glitter, thank God. Glitters are hard. So then we printed out my logo and my font that I wanted and literally put it on here in paper to like create our visual. She's so sad and pitiful. So these shadows are, that's so, it's just so funny looking at it. I used this freaking palette day in and day out forever and no one knew about it. I was so sad and lonely using it, but I loved it so much. So that was like kind of a step in the creation of the palette. And I just wanted to like, show you guys some behind the scenes moments. And also we didn't get to talk about the unicarton really quick. This is the unicarton that your palette will come in. So when you get it, it will be in this box. This is what it looks like. It has like some like very shine to it and it is the actual flowers that are inside the palette. So everything correlates. And then the silver Larley Los Angeles logo, all your information about it on the back. The palette is made in the United States. Yeah, remember October 13th. So that is my rundown on Cat's Pajamas. I hope you guys took an understanding of what this palette means to me and I hope you guys love it as much as I've been loving it. I've been using it forever and I can only assure you that I would never put anything out on the market but the absolute best. I know it's just weird whenever you sell something like this. You Some people might just see an eyeshadow palette but I just see like, like so much creation and so much thought and heart that went into this and so I see it and I look at it and I know it's just a physical thing but I see so much more than that when I look at it all right here she goes she's gonna cry I'm gonna do multiple multiple tutorials with it right now we're gonna start with the first tutorial with it which is the look on my eye and I love this look so much and I know this video is gonna be long AF but let's go ahead and start this makeup tutorial I'm starting out with a fresh cat pajamas palette. I can't get over the glitter. I'm looking in the viewfinder. Oh, the glitter. First, I'm going to go in with Okie Dokie. I put this shit in the palette because I use this every single time I start my eyeshadow look. I like to use it to soften up my eyeshadow primer and that way it helps everything to blend easier. So I'm going to take a the M573 Fluffy Blender Brush. I'm just gonna swirl it around in the color like that. Tap off the excess. Now I have my MAC Paint Pot on in Soft Ochre as an eyeshadow primer. And as you can see, I'm just gonna to swivel 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 this around and I'm going to make sure it just gets all over the eyelid just to soften up the primer I personally have to have a little bit of kick up I don't like shadows that are pressed too hard and you can't get the pigment or the color payoff out of the shadow like I'm like girl just give me give me a little kick up okay I don't like too much kick up though where you're wasting eyeshadow or it's really creating a mess and it's hard to blend the shadows I just like that perfect in between which is what we spent a lot of time which has a lot to do with the formula of the eyeshadow as well as the pressure of the pressing of the eyeshadow next i'm going to take an r38 brush it's like this long brush but it's kind of tapered at the end a little bit i'm going to take bomb diggity which is our mustard yellow pretty brown fall ish color so what i like to do is tap the brush and then this is going to be our transition shade so i'm going to pop it right in the creeks and i'm going to go back and forth windshield wiper motions and just blend this color to the gods above of makeup. This is the color I use every time when I use this palette as a transition shade. It does have a little bit of a kick to it because it's like that yellow undertone mustardy brown. But I promise you, whenever you get it on your eyelid, girl, you're going to love it. Next shade we're going to use is Cray Cray and I'm going to take an R39 brush. Can you guys see when you tap it around, it's minimal 
kick up, but you do get just a touch of fallout. So what I'm gonna do with Cray Cray is I'm going to focus it right here in the outer corner. So what I'm doing is I'm poking it right into that inner corner right there, just like. <laughs> then I'll take what's left on the brush and softly move it forward just a little bit, but we don't want that much dark color. You guys can see that color kind of deepened up a little where I was packing it in right there. It's like a really cool eyeshadow. I know it looks like a simple eyeshadow, but I promise it's like a really cool shade because you can build it up to make it what color you want it to be. If you want it to be the light orangey uh, fall crisp leaf, you can until you like poke it in really deep and go in and it can get a little bit deeper. Next, we're gonna take Kookie. Oh my gosh, I die for Kookie. Kookie is that cranberry matte color. So I'm gonna warm up the look a little bit with Kooky and like, not warm it up, but more so add a little bit of a reddish cranberry to it. You can see I'm just pressing it right on top of that brown color, but not taking it up quite as high because I don't want an explosion of Kooky everywhere. And now also what you can do is take a clean blender and just soften up those edges. And that's why I don't have my brows on right now. So I can do this right here. We don't have to worry about messing up the brows. We are now going to skip over to Out The Other, which is our purple color. It's like a semi-matte and it has a little bit of sparkle to it. The sparkle doesn't go crazy on your eye, so I don't want you to be afraid of that sparkle and think you're gonna have a glitter bomb on your eye. Out the other is a little less press because I want it to have maximum pigmentation. A little more fallout comes out of out the other. I'm just gonna take a baby, baby, baby amount. I'm just gonna like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, so pretty, I love it so much. So I just hit cray cray, which was our orangey brown color. I'm just gonna dust it. I'm gonna switch brushes and take an M139 brush and tap into Oddball right here, which does not have a lot of fallout at all. So I just really want this crease, outer crease right here, to have like a deepened moment. And because this brush has like that tapered in, I can really get in that crease right there. Just smudge it out a little bit. All right, your eyes should be looking like a beautiful majestic fall leaf right now and now we're gonna have fun and get into the color scatter brain hello there she is right there or it is our shimmery gold color i personally always use scatter brain with my finger get some on my hand just rub my finger in it you can use it whatever way you want i personally always no matter what wet my shimmers but just for the sakes of people who don't i would love to show you that is insanely pigmented with or without water. This is no water what you're seeing. So I'm gonna dampen it a little bit. Yes, I'm spritzing, like I spray it in the air and then I run my finger through the mist and I'll directly spray my finger. And now I'm gonna put it on and oh! You can see I'm just pressing it and whenever I get to that outer crease right there, I just kind of stop halfway. I'm gonna take this clean little brush and just pop this through. I'm gonna take Oddball on this flat brush. This is a Y21. I'm gonna nudge it right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and line our eye with it just by like poking it in. It's very pigmented black. As you'll see, you can use it like a liner. That's what I have been doing and I've been loving this method. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and add some Miami by Lily Lashes. I love these lashes so much. They are so viva voom. They're a little bit heavy because I love a lot of drama and they're very fluttery and wispy as well. So they're kind of that great mix of heavy and fluttery and wispy and you'll see why I love them so much. Also this black line is gonna help hide that lash band. I'm also gonna curl my lashes and add mascara. We got a lot to do, but I will be right back. For the under eye, I'm gonna take Bomb Diggity because this color is Bomb Diggity. Just buffing it like. I'm gonna dab into a little bit of Cray Cray and I'm gonna buff it from inner to outer corner, just like that. Kinda get that warm, sultry look. I'm gonna take some Kooky on this flat definer brush that looks like this that we did our eyeliner with. It also probably has, still has a wee bit of black, but I'm gonna get that really tight up in there. I'm gonna actually take a little bit of out the other too. Get it real tight in there. I'm gonna take Feline Liner from MAC and just put it in the Watata line, and then I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I'm using my Marc Jacobs Velvet Nior Mascara, which is one of my favorites, and we're just gonna buff this on the lower lashes. And lastly, for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lippy. I will put this in the description box because I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a really great lippy color from Stila, and I love it a lot. Baby. Baby. 
baby. You know I'm not gonna be sleeping on the 11th, 12th, or 13th. Like I'm gonna be wide awake, nervous, freaking out, hoping everything is just perfect, smooth, running smoothly. Like, oh my God. 